am Gabriella Kasai, the owner of Certipurdy Pumi Kennel. I have been dealing with Pumis for six years. I got my first Pumi mainly for herding purposes. We started breeding four years ago, and our first dog was my first Pumi's daughter, who is sitting here. We love this breed and Pumis are very close to us. The breed evolved spontaneously and was not the result of planned breeding. The Pumi is considered to have arisen from the crossbreeding of Hungarian herding dogs with French terrier type herding dogs from the late 17th century onward. Dr. Emil Reitzitz, who created the Pumi breed standard in 1921, referred to it as a sheepdog terrier. The breed standards have become consistent by the 1970s. There are over 2,000 Pumis registered in Hungary with notable populations in Finland and Sweden, and small but growing numbers of registrations in the US, UK and Germany. They are popular because they are ideal for agility, sheep herding, obedience training, flyball, jogging, or playing fetch. We have extremely good relationship and cooperation mainly with the Scandinavian breeders. The Pumi is the latest breed to be recognized by the American Kennel Club, AKC, receiving full AKC status as a member of the herding group on July 1, 2016. I feel that Pumi is getting more and more popular in their home country, Hungary. According to my experience the Pumi dog is not for everybody, as they are very agile and expressive. With the intelligence of a herding dog and the alertness of a terrier, this breed needs to be kept busy a lot physically and mentally. They are intelligent and learn easily. They should move a lot, like herding, agility and obedience training, flyball, jogging, or playing fetch. If the owner cannot do this with his dog, problems arrive and feedbacks come. The dog escapes, barks a lot, digs the garden, does not listen to its owner, etc. So I do not really recommend this breed to those who does not have time and energy to spend time with their dogs. The majority of the so-called problems are caused by the owners and the lack of attention. Even a small playing fetch, walking, obedience training will help to preserve your pumi in a good mental condition. Never forget the history of the breed. When the Pumi was formulating they were herding dogs and spent 24 hour of the day together with their master, the shepherd. Even today Pumis aspire to live like this, but of course times have changed. It is not a problem that we are out for hours for work, but when you return home, spend the time together with your Pumi. They will be happy for everything, like watching TV together, if they are present when you cook. It is important to know that Pumis do not shed at all. They can be kept in flats very well because of this. The coat is maintained by combing every few weeks and trimming every two to four months. Pumis love these, in quotes, maintenances, as these are occasions when they can be together with their beloved owners. A lot of future Pumi owners afraid that the Pumi will bark too much and cannot be controlled. Basically it is true, they are communicative. But they are intelligent as well and can be taught easily not to bark on unnecessary things or events. The Pumi is an extremely, above the average healthy breed. There are not any illnesses or deformities that would be Pumi specific or characteristic. They can be easily fed with almost everything that is of quality. As they are very agile, they are not inclined to being fat and usually they are not ill at all. In average, their lifespan is 15 years. Pumis have lot of colors. She who is sitting here is a gray one. Pumis can be in varying shades of gray, white, or fawn. Gray Pumis are the most common. They usually born black and ranging from almost black to light gray in adulthood. Puppies usually start graying at six to eight weeks old and the shade progressively lightens. Colors should be uniform, there cannot be spotted, marked, or splat. Fawn Pumis can have a lot of color variants as well. Darker mask, known as fawn with mask are very popular. 
Going for shows is one of our hobbies what we like very much, because of many reasons. The main reason is that we want to make the breed more popular, and show them to a lot of people. It is a very rare breed, even in Hungary the majority of people do not recognize them when seeing. I feel that we are lucky as we have some dogs with fantastic results. She is Ilka, who we are very proud of. She is a grand champion female. The shows in this year were the lasts in her life as she retires. She had litters two times in her life. Her father is Dijesh, who is also a grand champion winner. If anybody decides to have a Pumi puppy, it is highly recommended to look for the help of the Hungarian Pumi Club. They will give answers to any questions, and will help in puppy selection. I would like to offer this breed to all dog lovers who like to move, go out. They are a very cheerful breed, not only by the outlook, but their mind as well.